Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the refuge of the painful tide after another bit of a break there. Now, in the last episode, we got some pretty amazing progress done. We set up a student common room with room for eight students, as well as uh, updated our scullery to a kitchen and got a staff dining room. Don't ask about the wallpaper changes. There have been updates. And on the topic of updates, in fact, uh, in addition to a slew of like minor updates, uh, hot fixes and balance tweaks here and there, there has been one particularly big update which has changed some pretty fundamental things. Now, the first thing that has changed is it, it is greatly changed the way that difficulty is measured in the game and, and calculated and, and what contributes to difficulty and as such along with a couple of new mechanics which may make certain tasks more difficult than they used to be uh, any previous save file that gets loaded after the uh, the update was applied including this one gets set to uh, a more relaxed difficulty now, that may change some things for us in, in big ways, some things not very much. We're going to have to play it by ear because there is a fine uh, granality and an ability to tune the difficulty settings now. In, in many cases, that's why this change happened. So we may have to dip into the difficulty if we notice things are a little bit awry from how we had them set previously just to get them back on board that's going to be an ongoing process because there were a lot of changes and it was a little bit daunting to just dive in and try to get everything back the way it was but i'm going to read through the other notable changes because some of these are going to have an effect arcane scrolls gates in research have been completely removed as have arcane scrolls that was a pretty big one to be honest because that was a huge uh, progression pacing mechanic also, death saves have been removed from the game. Mages reduced to zero HP are now at death's door and must be transported to a medical bed for a revive ritual before their timer expires and they die permanently. There are no further saves to that. If you can't do that, that, uh, that is to get them to a medical bed and cast the ritual before the time runs out, that's it, they're gone. Trauma lasts much less time, and there are now new forms of trauma. Uh, there are new events, and most existing events have been updated. All natural iron sources are now in the underscore. That was a big one, because medical beds actually require iron. Though medical beds now require less, it is possible to get a, the, a bit of iron from the underscore without having to deal with medical beds. I'm not sure how that's going to affect us, honestly. It may be a bit more of a problem than we realize. Um... Uh, there is also a new nurse's office, uh, or rather the, the nurse, nurse's office room has simpler requirements and speeds up healing, but impacts conviction negatively. Humans have a new faction power, uh, in the same way that the vivified can eat anything, um, the, uh, the raven cults are particularly uh, aggressive, so on and so forth, they're, they're, they're particularly uh, powerful mages. The humans now have the uh, faction power of mana burst. Each cast, in or out of combat, has a chance of costing no mana. Now that's actually really, really interesting for a uh, staffer or a student doing work, because they may be doing something and just not have to use up mana for it, which might extend the amount of time that they're able to stay outside the school, for example, harvesting things, which is actually pretty cool. And the underschool is now opened by the first Repel Fog ritual at the beginning of the game. Now, I debated whether or not we would want to start the game anew, based on all of that. I've cho chosen not to, but I am open to people's uh, input on this one. If you would like to see me start fresh with all of these changes on the ground floor, then we absolutely can. But right now, I don't think the, there's really that much reason to. Now, without the Arcane Scroll gating everything, we have got a lot of options ahead of us. The two most focused ones that I have in mind, we want to get quilted. I want to get quilted to help us out with things, and that's going to require a few uh, few adjustments, including a place to build them, but I think the underscore will be good for that. But I believe we need brains to do anything for Quilted, so we're going to have to research this one. The other one is to finally get some good food, because up to now, our peeps have not had any good food to eat. They've been Every meal they've had has been negative to their, to their conviction. So I think it's high time. High time. We get a honey drop planter. Let's just get that going because then we can make honeyed gruel, which will actually give them a conviction bonus rather than a malice. So uh, let's see what we can do. They, they deserve it. Come on, they're working hard, bless them. Right, now the next thing I wanted to do 
is to work on getting some more staff rooms, uh, specifically some extra uh, sleeping quarters for the staff. Now, the only place I'm going to be able to do that is over here, which is a problem, because I'm going to have to get rid of this in order to put the doorway there, uh, this gut berry planter. Do I have enough room elsewhere in here to put a gut berry planter? I might do. I could possibly have one over there. Uh, can we do that? Or can I just shrink it? Do we have much gut berries outside? We might do. I could also just, yeah, just plant some gut berries outside just on the off chance. You know what? I think that might be a good plan. Let's go ahead and pop down at least a couple of gut berry planters. Just so that we've got a steady source of food. In here, I think we're going to want to destroy some stuff. So let's get demolish. That is not the right one. We want to destroy. There we are. Delete. All right, we'll get rid of you. Uh, we'll go ahead and harvest these. In fact, we might as well harvest all of the plants around here. Sure. Uh, harvest everything. Hunt everything. Chop everything. I could destroy everything, but let's not. Uh, destroy just that one. And uh, we should be able to get some get berry planters out there. Then I'll remove this one. I would prefer the main amount. Oh, actually, we've got a little planter over here. It's a wormweed planter, but I could replace that with a gut berry planter. Do we actually use the wormweed for much? I don't think we do. So how about cancel tend, uh, disintegrate this planter, and we're going to move the gut berry planter across there. That should help out. Now, as for our students, uh, they're looking pretty happy at the moment, but I would quite like to get some more. Now, I don't believe that we have the materials yet to set up production of the Tier 2 Wands. I would very much like to do it, though. Uh, if we have a look at potion crafting, we do have a bunch of potions set to be made. Do we have anyone who's actually prioritizing this job? I took the liberty of going through and adjusting everyone's priority, so if they aren't good at a task, they have that as a low priority. They will still do it, but they'll try and do anything else first. But we don't yet have anyone who's actually good at alchemy, which is a problem. Um, so I'm going to tell uh, Heather, you can also work on... In fact, Heather, you be the one to work on alchemy. We've got everything else. It's fine. Uh, and then when alchemy, alchemy is needed, you can do some chopping tasks, you can do some mining tasks, you can ha help with harvesting and tend, and so on and so forth. We've got other people who can help out with those jobs here and there. Uh, the other thing I've done is I have gone through, and anything that someone loves doing, I've given them a little bit of a priority boost to that one thing. Because it's going to give them conviction. Heaven knows we need more of that. Right, okay. We're starting to get some rejuvenation potions, which is going to be fantastic for us. But right now, uh, we're going to need to move some things about in here. Let's uh, bump this priority up there. We're also going to want to get this one disintegrated on the priority four as well, I think. There we go. That should be all fine. How are we doing with the fog right now? Fog is reasonably far away. Uh, I could go ahead and grab all of the... Uh, let me uh, select further back. Try and grab all of the honey that's out there that we possibly can. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so we want bitter rice plot. No, 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 no. We want honey drop bush. Harvest all of those, please. Do that as a reasonably uh, high priority, actually. Sure. Let's get that out of five. Uh, it's a rare priority to give out, but let's do it. Now, it's going to be a little while, but... Oh, my lord. I, I mean, I love the fact that you can float through the ground. That, that is amazing. However, I'm thinking maybe... What we should really get you to do is perhaps clean up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little bit concerned, about, uh, to be honest. Uh, we could, I suppose, just get regular students in, but I would really love to get a gifted student with a very good wand. Uh, if we have a look at this, we've made four of the potions re of rejuvenation. Maybe I'll drop this down to five of each. And uh, we'll just keep them on fives. There we go. I think having tens... Is perhaps a little bit, uh, a little bit bold. I would very much like to have five potions of rejuvenation, though. I feel that this is uh, an important one. I love the fact that you can move through the floors. That must be new. I cannot remember having that before. All right, but for the time being, we do actually have a bunch of wands that I'm probably not going to be using anymore. Well, this is a gifted student, so they're going to get a bonus. Sure, okay. We're going to go with a gifted water wand. Let's get the ritual done. 
get a new student in here, find out what they're up to, and also find out who they are as soon as we can. And then once that's done, I think we're going to go out and continue exploring down this route into the mine. Now, getting the quilted up and running is going to be a big job for us. Uh, we're probably going to want to get that somewhere in here, I believe, the spindle over here. Uh, right, a place on the ground. Uh, we just need a place for quilting. And I'm going to pop it in here because we frankly don't have any other rooms. Let's pop that right there. That should be pretty good. And we have got... Ooh. We have got our first shattered. All right. The glass-like humanoids with very low HP, but they gain armor in battle and are immune to many ills. So a lot of the traumas don't affect them. Okay. Well, that is that is very, very interesting. Let's have a quick look at you, shall we? Let's have a look what uh, kind of things you've got. You've got to overcome the butter lava. You want to cast... Uh, while craving recreation at a learning stone 25 times in a basic or intermediate classroom. Hmm. You'll get love of learning. Which means you'll gain conviction while learning or teaching. Which is a useful one, while teaching specifically, but uh, not, not the best. Um, we've also got go two days in a row at or above 70 conviction. Well, those are quite big uh, flips, aren't they? My goodness. Okay, well, uh, we can certainly make sure that that happens. Uh, Midge Mental, well, you're casting there right now, which is kind of amazing. But you will very quickly restore your conviction, because I have a lot of that in the day. And then you have a little top-up later. We'll see, though. Maybe maybe we'll uh, be able to get uh, knock that out quite quickly. But I, I very much doubt it. Uh, you're up to 12. If you get all 25 of these, and I don't have to put you on a different... Uh, different schedule. In fact, I might just tell you to keep working, but honestly, you might knock this out before anything else is going on. You're actually skilling up really quickly. Well done. Well done indeed. Will we get to 25? Mm, I doubt it. So you know what? I'm sorry. I really, really am sorry, actually, Manu. You're going to have to stick it, it, this one out. But while all of that's going on, let's find out who uh, June truly is deep down inside. I don't wish to alarm anyone. But it appears that Silent Psychopath has joined the game. Welcome, Silent Psychopath. I hope you're going to enjoy your time here in the school. Uh, but you have actually got the uh, the uh, anticipatory learning ritual. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, medal. So we can now let you go and recreate for a little bit. My goodness. All right. Well, that was that was kind of amazing, though. Straight out the gate. So good. I'm so glad we don't have to faff around with that one. All right, well, while that's all going down, uh, do we have much more in the way of potions to make? Uh, let's have a look. We are working on the potions of recharging. We're doing the bravery potions next, and then the revival flasks after that. Who's in the school? Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's Look, it's a thing that's happened. Uh, please, please hunt it. Please. <sighs> My bills. Can someone... Like, now? As, as in, like, right away? I know you're all enjoying your, your downtime, but please go and just kill the ooze. That's alright. Just everyone, just rush the ooze. And then clean this place up. My goodness. That, that spirit causing more problems than the, uh... Well, I mean, no, okay, look. You're, you're solving things, but I told you to do it, basically, so I'm, I feel bad. Uh, but maybe I should give you a uh, schedule to clean at a little bit higher than uh, do all the potions. Might help. Uh, in fact, if I were to do that, well... No, the problem is, is that you would then prioritize cleaning over doing the work, and I really would prefer you to do the work. All right. Let's see what we've got going on down here. We are making some good progress there. How's everything going up here? Fantastic. Let's move over that uh, get berry planter. There we go. That will do nicely. And then we can start building out this room. This one can just go straight up into that room. Right, we've got you. Now, what can you make for me straight away? Oh, a quilted carrier only requires sinew and viscera. Okay, and then we can uh, recycle them. Quilted carrier corpse times three. You can oh, wow, okay. Yeah, you can recycle one, sorry, three quilted carrier corpses into one new quilted carrier. Right. A quilted sweep who cleans. Ah, oh, fantastic. That's exactly what we need. Do until you have five sweeps. Do until we have five 
quilted carriers. And then recycle the sweep. That should be at the top. Always do. Infinite. And then recycle the quilted carrier. Likewise. Infinite. Always recycle them if they're available. Marvellous. There we go. Let's pause it for a second. It's a tiny little thorny legged feather dust that don't don't ask really cleaning up bubbling goo thank you very much all right well that's going on how about we getting here we're gonna find get some mine ah marvelous all right mana crystals stones oh wow we're getting a lot of things uh all right so the rewards have changed a lot i like this uh pepster there you are lightning fire you know i don't think we need to change this up i could bring along some potions of rejuvenation and I think we will. Let's bring along four potions of rejuvenation. Bravery potions uh, removes fearful and revival flasks. Also, uh, a throwable flask restores 15 HP to an ally who's been unconscious. You know what? I, I don't uh, expect to have too many issues. Um, I guess we can bring two of these along since we've got them. But definitely fill up your mana before you head down. We're going to be trying to get through quite a few of these, I think, in this episode. We haven't got uh, too many big tasks ahead of us in terms of working through all of the uh, all of the rooms, but uh, definitely want to get out there and get some fighting done. Hopefully, we can get some more uh, more going on here. We're making some more quilted sweeps. We've got loads of sinew and viscera. I we'll probably need to kill a bunch more. Oh, okay, a uh, bunch more rats, really. Okay, they did not wait at all. They just straight into the fight. My lord. Okay, uh, disapprove. Uh, greatly, greatly disapprove. Uh, okay. Well, first and foremost, vengeance. Let's get that on the go. Poor Manu. I'd like earth armor. Let's get them attacking you there. Uh, encrypt. Aquatami, I could go for a bolt. I wouldn't mind taking out the Belcher at the back. Let's just do that. There we go. Belcher will do a good amount of damage. And Aquatami can finish them off before the next thing. Right, multi-strike. Let's go for you then. Three hits of 18. Oh my lord. That is bonkers good. Uh, how much can your fireball do? Not a lot, honestly. Um... Mm, still, we'll do it. There you go. Oh, mana burst. Nice. Very, very much appreciated. All right, we may as well just finish this. There we go. I'm liking that mana burst ability. I'm not going to lie. Right, we'll just get a bolt over there to finish this fight. There we go. Nice and easy. Iron, stone, and two mana crystals. That is a huge thing for us, frankly. Uh, and then the potions were just left down here. Okay, anything else we need to gather in there? I don't think so. Need medical rest, though. Sad. Let's have a look. What are the medical rooms? So the nurse's office requires medical rest, recovers more HP. Two or more be medical beds, and it needs to be lofted, and that's all. Uh, okay, let's remember what lofted is. Taller than it is wide. Infirmary, medical rest. Uh, is, we require three or more medical beds, two or more incense burners, and it needs to be private. And the hospital ward needs to be private and lofted, and a load of different uh, things going on there. Well, I think the nurse's office might be the one to go for. Uh, we would just need... Uh, it's going to ha... No, we can't easily do that. I could perhaps do that over here, make this into a staff room. But that feels... That doesn't feel good, honestly. I'm not, not sold on that idea, frankly. I think we're going to stick to our other plans. For now, anyway. Uh, right. Well, let's go ahead. We can leave a door over here and start building this area out. Ah, uh, it's going to be nice to get to, back to some construction again. So let's get that in there. We'll want the, the wall coming out a decent way. Maybe get a little bit of a support pillar here so that I can take it out even further. That way we might be able to fit in quite a few more beds, which would be marvellous if you ask me. Now, as for our wands, uh, it looks like we can make them at this point. Uh, who would be the best at doing that? Making wands. Uh, create statues. Wands. Here we are. Required for use nature. Okay, well, we've got a lot of people who have that task available to them. Uh, I guess I could give a slight priority buff to Manu here. Sure. 
Mano, if you could make me some wands, I would very much like to get another gifted student, but with a much better wand this time. That would be very, very nice indeed. Alright, we've got a bunch of work to do, so I'm going to start speeding things up here, and I shall bring you back when I've finished work on adding a room out there. Also, killing some crow and rats. Okay, so we, we've got a bit of a cold snap going on right now. Also, it certainly helps to make the wands if I actually tell someone to do the wands instead of construction. I managed to catch that, but uh, I caught it by deciding that I wanted Heather to work on it instead. So uh, Manu is back to the regular uh, requirements there. Unfortunately, they haven't finished this room yet, so this is still not a conservatory. Uh, the other thing I noticed about Quilted, and I wasn't expecting this, they actually have a life limit. So uh, they will only live for about three days when they are created. So instead of having five, I've dropped them to three. That way we can then immediately recycle one and start making more of them on the go. Uh, as for the carriers, exactly the same. We'll, we'll see how many we want in the end. But hopefully we can get this room... Con Constructed. It looks like it is now finished. Of course, we're going to need a little bit more luxury in here now as a consequence because, sadly, we no longer have the uh, the roof that was giving us a little bit of luxury previously. Let's uh, actually have a look at the luxury in here. Is there one that tells me that? I don't think there is. A 24 luxury, and I believe we need a 25. Uh, yeah, 25 or greater luxury. Well, we can probably get that. Let's have a look for something that will give us a little bit of luxury in here. Uh, ritual sigil. Uh, we can have a solemn pedestal. Sure, we'll pop another one in. We'll uh, just tuck that one right in the corner there. And that should give us the room that we want. Right, this cold snap is going on, which means that we've got some issues for our staff. Uh... Specifically, the the nature wand is going to be a little bit uh, weaker, and the water wand is going to be a bit stronger. And also, we're going to get leaks in here, which is sad because we've now got rain. Of course, we've got rain while I'm rebuilding part of the school. <sighs> it's just the way it is, I'm afraid. Uh, let's go ahead and build out a room about yay tall. Now, if I recall, there are certain things I need to avoid doing, otherwise I turn this one into a dormitory. Uh, one or more windows, three or more plain beds, but what we want is an austere bedroom, one or more cot, plain bed, fancy bed, so no window, we can't have a window, unless we want it to be a bedroom, uh, which there is a, certainly a, uh, bit of something for that, five or greater luxury, sure, I think we can, we can do that, our staff deserve a nice rest, I think, let's, uh, go ahead and take up this, Roof about there. There we go. We want some extra wonk this time. We're going to put it up to eight wonk. Can I move that down? Uh, sure, we'll have it drain down like that. It'll look great. All right, there we go. We should be able to get that done relatively quickly. If I could somehow get up there to add this out there, that would have been amazing. And I guess we possibly could even. Hmm. But if this is a bedroom, I don't need that much room. I'm going to just have two beds in here anyway, so it's not that much of a concern. I could put a little door in there for some extra privacy too. Uh, sure, we will. Uh, might, might as well. All right, let's uh, get you on the go. But we've got new uh, research underway. I am researching the foundation. Also, the ladder lets you go up and down. Removes luxury, though. But foundation is going to allow us to start expanding out along the ground down here. And that's going to be huge. Terminal Serenity just completed uh, the charger trial. Fantastic. Let's have a quick look at you. So now all that remains is uh, dancing with friends. Dance in a room with an enchanted phone with at least six students or staff present. I mean, we can see about making that happen for you, certainly. We will absolutely get there. Uh, but for now, let's have a look at the other items that we've got. We've got the final, a small rooftop decoration used to create various types of rooms. Okay, uh, we haven't seen anything that needed that yet. And we've got the mandrake planter and the honey drop planter. These are very important to me. I'm going to want probably less of the ice flowers, frankly. We're going to disintegrate this on a priority four. Disintegrate this one on a priority four as well. And then I'm going to build out the honey drops coming in from the other side. So what, one here, here, here there, please. Apparently I don't have enough sinew. Okay, well, I will have to get some more then. Uh, well, as soon as this roof is done, the leaking will stop down here, which is going to be huge. 
Are you being being fed? Yes, you are. Our haulers are feeding you. Fantastic. Marvelous, in fact. Keep that up, haulers. Have we made all of the ones that we wanted? We've got a water wand, we've got a fire wand. Okay. Uh, what I wouldn't mind is a nature wand, honestly. Or maybe even a lightning wand, because we need lightning mages to keep bringing people in. The, uh, bouncing... What? The, no! Bouncing bread? Where was that? Hallway run... Hallway runner broken? Where? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> there. Fair. Fair. Uh, we'll hopefully get all of those repaired soon. Alright, as for lighting, I would really like a void cap or two, but unfortunately I don't really have any anywhere that I can stick a little room for a void cap. What I would want is a dark room for that, to uh, encourage void caps to spawn, but I don't think that's a thing that's going to happen. Ah, oh, but it's amazing having haulers, though. This is glorious. Amazing work there. Uh, for the time being, then, we will just pop in... Uh, can I have... Do I have anything that will give us some luxury? Nothing really. We're going to go with a green lamp in here, I think. Let's just pop that in there. Though, we do kind of want the void caps that are, that will appear from there. But, oh, oh dear, we've got uh, Spectral Crower. Basically, we haven't gotten to one of the uh, corpses in time, and it's spawned a spiritual crower to ruin our stuff. Uh, there's the little crower nest there. So, they're not too terrible. They will damage... Uh, I think they, the crow will eat your crops, but they will damage your items. And, in fact, it's heading in right now. So, we kind of want that to be slain right now. There we go. Yeah, it's going straight through the wall, of course it is. And then it's going to attack our devices. So, you don't really want to leave crow corpses out and about. It's generally a, a bad idea. Uh, but things are doing... Okay, otherwise. Uh, you know what? What we can do is we can get another student in, perhaps. Let's go ahead. Get another gifted student. I see no reason not to. Uh, but this time, we are going to go for... An Earth Wand. Sure. Let's begin the ritual. Let's get him in. Should be good. Right. Once that's done, I'm thinking... Uh, once... Everyone has had a sleep, though we will want to make sure that our senior students, our fully trained students, aren't on their sleep schedule. So about midday, we will head out and run another uh, another dungeon over here. What will we get from this one? Iron 75, stone 100, stone 30. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, and school exploration difficulty, rich with iron, farewell. That is a beautiful moon over there. Everyone, please welcome Platinum Toast to the school. Welcome, Platinum Toast. You have some interesting medals. You've got to you defeat an enemy while full. That is going to require some timing. Uh, clean three messes and also eat in a mess or common room or house commons ten times. You have some nice magic levels, though. Not only do you have four in earth, but you've got three in air, which is very, very nice indeed. But you don't have any uh, medallions that are going to give you uh, an upgrade to any of your, your skills beyond that, which is a little bit of a shame, frankly. Uh, right, we have this going in. I still need a little bit of work done on that one, if we can get some more sinew, and it looks like we've got enough to pop down one more. I would like to have four of them. If we can make that happen, it would be grand. But one thing I'm noticing is our students are spending an awful lot of time collecting meals from down here and then carrying it all the way up. So I think adding in a... Uh, let's have a look. Where are you? We want storage. The pantry in here would be a wise move. Uh, we can pop the pantry perhaps down there. Uh, it's kind of in, in the, the dancing zone, actually. We'll pop it over here. It can be right next to the bed. Just in case uh, someone wants a midnight snack. I think that should be fine. Right, with that done, let's have a look at the schedule and see where peeps are. The students just ate. I could wait for Platinum Toast to, to get the um, defeating someone while full until the very end. I don't think we need to do that right now, honestly. That, that doesn't seem like it's uh, unnecessary. Right, let's pop in a nice window in there, and then we want two beds for our staff. We can have one down here, perhaps, right there, and then one over here. 
I think that'll give a, a nice look to the room. We're still going to need five luxury, though. I could do that with uh, hallway runners. Wouldn't be an issue. But let's go ahead and get it with the, uh, the solemn pedestal right there. That should all do quite nicely. Have a blue and greenish hue in there. I think they'll appreciate it. Right. Uh, we will wait until you're done sleeping before we bring you down. But that shouldn't take too terribly long. And otherwise, things are looking well. We've got a lot of hauling yet to do and a lot of mining also to do. Uh, surface orb. Not really, is it, now? It's not really surface anything. <laughs> Uh, skill level learned. Nice. Okay, well done, Platinum Toast. Very nice as well, Aquatami. Getting everything set up in there. Liking it. Now, with the uh, level 4 Water Wand, that's going to be a brand new staffer, but I think Platinum Toast is ultimately going to be replacing Aquatami. Uh, though, that being said, Aquatami's got some good stats for what they do. We'll see. Platinum Toast may be able to replace Aquatomi. Aquatomi has a lot of health, which is very much appreciated, but it's not a very fast actor. Whereas Platinum Toast does start quickly. What I would like... Uh, is there any way we're going to be able to improve your, your combat uh, potential? Well, it's only attack spells. So realistically, that's not going to be the, the thing. No, we, we just want armor. We'll get Smash too, but we don't care for that. You don't really do that. Um, what we are going to want is Earth Armor 2. Adds 120 armor and taunt 3 to the caster. That is going to be a lot better than your basic Earth Armor. A lot better. Alright, yeah, we are definitely going to be looking to replace Aquatama with Platinum Toast. I think that one's, that one's a uh, what, done deal on there. Uh, as for... The others, I think we're just going to get Peps to, and Silent Psychopath to uh, join us. I don't think we're going to be uh, looking for anything else. Uh, how much luxury did this one add? Let's have a look in here. I can't actually see. Let's go with green. There you go. Can we get rid of that? There we go. All right. Hopefully, that is going to give us... It's only got 14 luxury. That's more than enough. So, yeah, as soon as that's ready and the uh, second bed is done, we'll have a new staff room. And it'll just be round robin, whoever goes... Well, it won't even be remotely round robin, actually. It'll, it'll be whoever decides randomly to go in there is going to go in there. Uh, hopefully, though, that means some peeps will enjoy themselves. Right, uh, let's get everyone down here ready for another fight. We'll do it, uh, do it with this group. There's no reason to change it up, I don't think. Uh, one thing I am noticing, though, is I'm thinking the fog is not... 22 days until the fog consumes... Okay, that, that is going to need to be changed <laughs> in the next episode. I don't know what the original setting was. If anyone happens to know what how far the fog originally uh, advanced, because I'm fairly certain that is now granular. You can dictate how quickly it advances. Do let me know, and we'll adjust it to that, because uh, there's just no reason for me to push it forward. Yeah, this is why we need fast-acting students. All right, so let's get Vengeance going. And then next, I would like Earth Armor. At least they spread out the damage a little bit, but uh, it's unfortunate. All right, let's get Bolt back there. You're probably going to kill yourself in your next attack. And Multi-Strike. If we could get an Air Wand, a high-level Air Wand, on a student with a lot of damage, just like through medallions or perhaps raven cult. Wow, that would be amazing. Do it. Well, we may as well just smash. There we go. And the fight is over. Nice and easy. More iron, more stone. Right, this one's a mana crystal, smoke pill, stone, iron. Okay, abandoned mining tunnels full of lava, etc, etc, etc. Nothing too bad. We've got more of our haulers heading down. Right, how's the research going right now? Uh, let's have... Oh, we've already finished it. My my bad. We need to work on that right away. Okay, well, in that case, next thing I would like to do is get some quilted that can lumberjack and also repair. Either that. Ooh, what have we got down here? Tend? Really? We've got, like, a nurse quilted? No, no, it's a... It's a sorry, it's a bag of fertilizer. Really? Wow. Uh, harvest... 
We've got Wandering Mage's Grave. A place to bury a character's corpse. We'll spawn a spirit that will scout the fog and bring back smoke pill. Wow. Okay, at that point, you kind of want someone to die. Uh, but no, we're going to go for graves and mining. Let's get that one researched right away. But with foundation, we have unlocked something very, very important indeed. I can now build out along here. Or at least I think I can. Maybe I need some room? Yes, I do. I need room. That is fine. We can finally add in some much-needed larger rooms. We could possibly get a uh, nurse's office down here. Just a better place for people to heal, and then we could add more chests up there. I think that would work out quite well. Uh, so, what we're going to need is everything in here. Chopped, harvested, hunted. That needs to be destroyed. There we go. So let's get out, out of the way. Let's get all of this gone. And then we're going to start expanding out the lower floors of the school. Now, that does come with some concerns. Because, obviously, once we uh, dial the fogs spread back up, then we're going to have to be very, very on the ball, keeping that from getting too close to the school and then destroying what we've got. Uh, naturally, we don't want to lose anything. Uh, what have we got? We've got Earth Wands, Water Wand 2, Air Wand, Fire Wand... We haven't got lightning, nature, dark. Okay, that's fine. Uh, really, have I got two water ones being made? Yeah, I do. That was silly of me. Um, we could go for a uh, gifted fire wand user. Manu has been here for a long time. I think maybe, maybe they just want to retire at this point. Let's have a look at this. Let's have another gifted student, but this time we're going to go for a fire wand. Fire one two. So this is going to be level four plus gifted. All right, let's see what we can do. That's going to use up pretty much all of our scrolls there. I think uh, that was the last of them. I do believe. Uh, yes, I think that's it. Let me have a look through here. Oh, do we have the rest? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that was the last of our scrolls. What on earth is going on? Are you eating my food? Why has no one killed the crower on this side? My goodness. Murder the crower. Also, that actually is a good reason for us to go ahead and harvest and chop everything here. So that I can build a wall. Just to keep the crower out of my, uh, my garden back there. I think that would be very, very wise indeed. Silent Psychopath, though, has completed the Bliss Seeker trial. There you go, well done. Now we just need to get the burrower, wherever that lives. Uh, down here we've got... How are we going over there? Well, it's going to be a little while. Your cleaning is going to need to be bumped up, actually, thinking about it. have got a bunch of students, and I'm not telling them to do anything right now. I would like to charge lanterns. You no longer need to do it as a priority. Uh, I would like hauling to be done. Oh, we have got Legrand on a fire wand. A gifted Raven Cult Fire Wand user. Oh, oh that fireball is going to be the stuff of legend. I am very, very excited. All right, Platinum Toast, I would like you to clean as a massive priority. All right, let's find out uh, who Legrand is and what they do. Everyone, please welcome Eelstar to the student body. Let's find out about your magic. You've got three in Earth along with your five in Fire. You're going to have Fireball 3. Attacks an enemy, 50% critical chance. Uh, that is very, very nice indeed. Uh, let's see here. Total damage there is 30. Total damage here is 50. So it's 75 if we get a crit. Unless crits do a lot more. Uh, Flame Lash. Attacks an enemy, spends half of the caster's mana, and deals thrice that much damage. That sounds particularly nasty. Very, very much approve. Uh, yeah, the Fireball 2 that Manu casts only does 20 damage because Manu has no bonuses to their, their um, damage output. We're going to get... Already, at the basic Fire Wand, Eelstar does more damage than that. At Fireball 3, 
it's going to be 50 down. That's just absolutely marvellous. But let's have a look at your medallions. Let's see if we are lucky. Uh, gain five conviction for four hours after a clean task. Okay. Uh, so you're going to want to be charging bronze lanterns. Uh, I'll have to wait until you've got some uh, skills for working on that one. I believe that one is lightning. Yep. Uh, what are the other options that you have? We've got Solo Learner, Bronze Shark, crashed at a learning stall 25 times in a basic or intermediate classroom with no other students present. Oh. Well, I'm sure that might happen, actually. But that'll give you plus one to dark as well, which will bring your dark up to two. Okay, not, not amazing, but still pretty nice. Uh, Solo Learner, Silver Trial. Oh, both of them in there. Uh, 50 times in an intermediate classroom. It has to be an intermediate. Stalwart's Wisdom. Uh, this will boost HP and power, so an extra 10 to your power. That is going to be wild. Uh, the defensive duelist defeated one skull or higher en enemy party without any ally going unconscious. That should be easy, and that'll give you plus 10 speed as well. My lord, you've already got 10. And then finally, we've got uh, dance in any recreation room 35 times. Magic heart. You'll gain some extra HP and some extra mana, which will be very nice for you, in particular because your Flame Lash will scale based on how much mana is used. Okay, now the Solo Learner is going to be a bit of a trickier one, unfortunately. What I could do is, let's have a quick look. How close are you to maxing out? You're very close to maxing out. You've got a little bit more room for that, unfortunately. I could perhaps have Eelstar avoid learning yet. Though that being said, because Eelstar is going to be learning, it's going to take a very long time for Eelstar to get to level 5 on fire. I imagine they're going to be doing that alone for a while. So I think there is still a good chance that we're going to be able to get Eelstar to uh, get the right levels there without having to do anything, anything else. Wand Shaper Broken? Someone please fix it. Maybe. Please. Uh, we'll see. Right, well that was an amazing, amazing uh, roll of the dice there. I would like to bring in some more students though. Just to fill out the student body. We've got two more spaces. How about we bring in some more people? Okay, so this is going to require add up scrolls. Don't have them. Also, three staff. At this point, we've got so many staff. Uh, sorry, gifted students. We need more staff with lightning skills to bring them in. Uh, okay, so we're going to bring in just a basic wand user. We're going to grab a lightning user. And for this one, uh, Manu, sure, you can take care of that. Let's get you in here. We'll get through our basic wands this way. And we'll get one more after that as well. I'm very much looking forward to that. Right, we need a lot of wood chopping going on, so uh, could we work on that, please? It is taking you an age to harvest that. My goodness. We really do need those uh, those quilted, don't we? And how's that going? Uh, we're almost done on the minor quilted. Hopefully that doesn't require the brains, because if so, then we're going to have to focus on that one for a little bit. But student needs a teacher. Uh, also, bedroom. Marvellous. This is doing everything we're going to need for our staff. Uh, obviously, we want this specifically only available to staff. No, 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 no. Only students. Uh, oh, sorry. Only staff, rather. Same here. There we go. Got that. This is a plain bed. No research selected. There we go. Okay, so Graves of Mining has been learned. We've got a new student. We'll check you out in just a moment. So, adding in the miners. No qualify. Oh. Right. Okay. But what did you need? Um, ectoplasm and viscera. Okay. That isn't too tricky of a one for us to do. Well... Given that, then, let's immediately start researching these, so we could also get the handyman then, which would be quite nice. But we're going to need another student with dark magic. Uh, I would have liked a gifted student for that one, though. Ah, Dratdam and Blast, frankly. 
nevertheless, we're going to get through one of the, the other ones. Let's grab a nature wand, I think. Sure, let's begin the ritual. And while that ritual's going down, let's find out about uh, Marigold over here. First and foremost, what's your real name, Marigold? Everyone, please say hello to Ravian. And thank you ever so much for your continued su patron support there, Ravian. Welcome to the school. We have some basic skills. We've got two in dark, two in air, three obviously in lightning there. And that, that may, you may actually get into the uh, the staff body purely based because I, I need three lightning uh, mages. But let's have a look at your magic first and foremost. You've got 15 power, which is actually quite nice. You are shattered, so very low HP, but still, that's not terrible. Uh, trials and medallions. Cast while craving recreation at a learning stone 25 times. <laughs> okay. Uh, defeat a one skull or higher enemy party while rested. That should be easy. And clean three messes. So let's get that set up. We've got another... Uh, another Shattered as well. We're getting quite a lot of Shattered at the moment, actually. That's very interesting. Okay, well, let's find out who Nessie is. And for what I can only assume is the last renaming in this episode, everyone, please welcome Rejury to the school. Let's have a quick look at you, Rejury. Uh, you've got two in air, two in lightning, three in nature, and over here, uh, anticipatory learning as well. You, they all seem to go for that when in, when the uh, uh, with the shattered uh, full fighter and then pyromania destroy three objects. I'll give you some tenacity, so better mana regen. This will give you plus one to nature skill. Very nice. Okay, and what did uh, Ravens uh, ones do? Gain five conviction when you do a quilting task. Ooh, boosted speed, power, and max HP. Not bad. And this one will give you power and max uh, mana. Okay, not too bad in terms of your medallions there. I must confess, I quite like them. I quite like them. Though, uh, unfortunately, we're probably already at the point where you have managed to get some recreation happening. So, let's have a quick look. Stats. Um, actually, no. You have not. Neither of you have. So, you're both still quite craving your recreation. That I am on board with. Uh, we absolutely need that thing dead as a five. I did not mean to set all of these as a five. I'm sorry. They need to be a three. There we go. I need that to die as a five. Uh, let's make sure it is actually set to a five. Yes, it is set to a five. Please, someone kill it before it breaks all my stuff. Right, okay, none of these things are going, so I'm just going to destroy them, and I'm going to have them destroyed as a five as well. Uh, that one can be harvested, I suppose. We really, really desperately need to move some things out. I guess they're just not fully grown? No, they look like they're fully grown. Okay, I'll bump those up to a priority four then. But we should be able to just get rid of everything over here. And then finally, well, as soon as they finish doing the job, we can expand things out, because I'm thinking we need another, another uh, place to learn another uh, classroom. Would someone please kill this crower? My goodness. <laughs> Could you kill it? Hunt it. It's all I need. Thank you. It's just been there, eating the founder's grave. Rude, it was your grave. Oh, my lord. <sighs> oh, well. Can't live with them. Can't live with them. Right. Now then. It is a fresh day. I would quite like to let my staff... Manu is going to be busy here. Teaching our students. So instead of bringing up Manu... Manu, you're off the team for now. I could instead bring... Sure, let's bring out Magras Polar Bear. Let's see how this one goes. Uh, let's... Oh, we've got potions of greater recharging now. Interesting. Let's bring some potions of rejuvenation, but I don't... Uh, and some revive flasks. We'll, we'll carry them back anyway, so it won't be too much of a problem. There we go. Uh, let's get the uh, fighters down there. I'm like at the top of that mana crystal now. Oh, it's very, very nice, in fact. Very cool. Right. 
hopefully we can get all of this done relatively quickly. Perhaps it's taking a bit of a while to walk down there. Feeling a bit purposeless there? Perhaps I, I'm sorry. Oh. Hello? It's an ember golem. Right. Let's have a look at you. Attacks an enemy and adds retaliate 20 to the caster. Total damage will be 15. Okay. Well, Shadow Cloak, I think, would be useful. Uh, it'll give us Shadow Cloak for two rounds. Tentacle Ash isn't going to be great, but we'll go with it. There we are. Who are you going to go for? Womp. And now you've got Retaliate, which is not great. Let's get Earth Armor. Unfortunately, Bolt is going to cause this to retaliate against you. Yeah. Uh, okay, instead, let's have haste on you. Let's make sure that you go to the top of the queue and we can get some more Earth Armor. Yeah. At this point, a nice 67 Tentacle Lash. Yes, please. Yeah. All right, I would love it if I could apply armor to you as well, but uh, sadly we'd need an air wand for that. Uh, how much that You can take quite a lot of damage, Akutami. So sure. Let's continue attacking then. It's got retaliate, well actually for forever more or less, because every time it attacks it's going to cause that to happen. Dare I multi-strike? Actually, yeah, Peps has got, Peps has got more health than pretty much anyone else here. Sure. I could give Shield of Wind, though. Hmm. How many turns does that last? I think it's until you get attacked again. You know what, Pepsa, that's what you're going to do. For now. For now. I'm going to add Shadow Cloak again. That's fine. All you're going to do is apply Earth Armor. You're just drawing its attention. That, that is it. Let's recharge Pepster, who has no mana. And I've got Lightning Reflexes as well. Shield of Wind on Magra's Polar Bear, who's going to do a good bit of damage in a second. Uh, and then you can do nothing. Um, we'll just pass the turn. I guess Lightning Reflexes means they can, they can uh, attack twice. Or take two turns. The lack of vengeance is painful, frankly. But it's fine. Womp. Okay, victory is ours. And Smoke Pearl is also ours. Okay, that was it. The Underskull Chamber is done. We've got a couple of things down here, though. Some dull crystals. Calming small rug. Okay, I like it. Got many things. That foggy crystal... All kinds of wands. Uh, what just happened? Oh, my lord. Okay. <laughs> we got uh, research. We've also got the incendiary crystal. Aha. A battle awaits. We'll get a canopy bed out of it. It's a three skull battle, though. Ooh. How about we play this a little bit more cautiously, eh? Uh... Let's mine everything, but this one, no. The incendiary crystal will leave there, for now. Because otherwise, that's going to just be rough. Right, we got the helpful helpers. Can we make those, or do we also need higher skill? Yeah, we do. Well, all right. Duly noted, we're going to need a higher skilled dark wand user. Frustrating, but there we are. Uh, we have also got... A Wandering Mage Gravestone. I'm not sure we really need to plant this just yet. Uh, I guess I could. Pop it down here, perhaps. Which way does it need to look? That way. Alright, we'll pop that over there. Might as well. Alright, well that's fine. Now, as for the rest of the shenanigans, uh, let's have a look through our newest students. How are all of them doing with their, with their studies? They're going okay, but it is going to take a long time to learn a level 4 skill. And it's going to take even longer to learn a level 5. Duly noted. But we should be able to get the... Uh, the t oh, actually, how many people are in here? 
Uh, pretty much all of them, actually. Okay, never mind. Take it back. But I think High Kaiser. Let's have a look at your medallions. You've got to fight the burrower. Uh, Alright. Well, we can try and find the burrower. But Terminal Serenity. I think Terminal Serenity can leave. Completed anticipatory learning. Well done. I didn't even have to do anything for you with that one. Very, very good. But I think we are going to say goodbye. Uh, we are going to graduate with honors. Terminal Serenity. There you go. And we are going to get 17 Adept Scrolls here. I guess I could also... Uh, do I want to graduate? No, we don't want to graduate Pepster. We want Pepster to definitely join the, uh, join the staff. Okay, let's begin that ritual. And say goodbye to Terminal Serenity. Has been marvellous, Terminal Serenity, but it is time... F um, oh, damn it, we sent the teacher <laughs> I should have paid more attention, really, shouldn't I? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, students all, all lined up. Very, very disciplined there. I appreciate it. Truly, I do. But, uh, goodbye, Terminal Serenity. It has been wonderful having you here. I will very much appreciate those 17 Adept Scrolls, though. Deeply. Alright, as for Silent Psychopath, in terms of your medallion... Oh, you need the bronze, uh, the barrow as well. Um, you need to eat in a mess hall common room or house commons ten times. That shouldn't be hard for you to do. Uh, the... Defeat a one skull enemy is not going to be... That's ultra trivial. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do with that. But over here, I just want meals. I want it to be a high priority. I want food to come up here as quickly as we can. Uh, this one is a five. Let's put that one on a four as well. I do want ingredients to be brought in as a five, though. That seems reasonable. All right, but we've made a little bit of progress. We have cleared out this area, so I'm going to lay down the foundations. What does that require? I think it's just stone. Is that right? But that is what we're going to do as the very last thing we do today. So it's one all the way. Oh, really? I want it to at least come out to about here. So I'm going to set these up to be destroyed. Priority five. Let's get this done. Chop, chop. Of course, you're up there teaching, which is fine. But Manu loves teaching. Honestly, there's a big part of me that doesn't want to say goodbye to Manu. Manu Manu's now like a fixture in this place. Manu has seen so many students through their, their studies. Some of the staff were taught by Manu. It's, it's going to be... Well, at the same time, though, it'll be a little bit like the, you know, the, the changing of the guard. The, the, the passing on the baton. The, the, there's beauty in that as well, I think. All right, let's, let's, make, let's go big. Let's, let's bring it all the way out here. We're going to have a big upgrade on this side. Over on this side, yeah, it's just going to take some time, unfortunately. It's just the way it is. Uh, hopefully we can get that that done somewhat soon but uh, now without a, a uh, nature wand user due to join the faculty that might take a lot longer but that is going to be it for me for today i hope you've enjoyed this return to mind over magic in the next episode we will possibly be setting up uh, a at least a nurse's office making this more into just a storage room and then possibly adding on another uh, learning area over here. Another another classroom. That may require some changes in this room specifically. Perhaps moving that further out. I don't know if the uh, if this room needs to be... Well, is, are we still not at the high enough quality? My goodness. Why? A 26 luxury at this point. Hmm. Elevated and lofted. Oh, did it need to be skewed? Uh, I bet it needed to be skewed. So, skew the damage. Okay, so we're definitely going to be moving this out to uh, the the uh, far left of the area of here. Maybe you have two classrooms right next to each other. We'll see. But that is going to be it for me. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next. But until then, and as always, do leave a like if you liked and sub if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next time. Take care, everyone.